Hot swapping on which Java version? I guess I missed that if you already said it. Um, um, this I used this specific IntelliJ version, right? This this IntelliJ version allows you on and seventeen, right? That one allows you to um, hot swap even new methods sometimes. For example, interface new interface methods will not work, but gen, uh, creating a new local method or creating a new static method will work. So I really like hot swapping generally because it's absolutely awesome for testing new ideas. And that helps me super, super much. I'm not using it right now because it doesn't help me in, in the case of the renderer client and so on because I have multiple services and hot swapping multiple services is a pain. Um, but generally, I work on the on the game here, and then I can hot swap stuff. I can even show you this right now. I can say um, I can say create an SSH tunnel to the server. Now I say with the SSH tunnel connect to the Minecraft server, please. And then now it takes a little while to connect to the server. Then I can go to the dashboard, for example, that I showed a couple of times. I can say dashboard HTML. And in the des dashboard HTML, I want to have a new button here, right? That does not yet exist. And this button will have, you can see here, ASD, ASD. Let's do um, mastermind and save this change. And you can see the change is not yet there because I did not click on anything yet. But my, my screen works in a way where it will come on each interaction, it will compare the data of one screen to the data of the next screen. And if the data is different, then that will trigger a re-render and it will send out the new information. So now I can just, I think, just refresh the page and we get that, that additional thing, right? So now I can disable that again and do it again. And the change is gone, right? So I can, I can test changes in like two seconds which is super, super awesome. And your workflow, if you can implement hot swapping into whatever workflow you have, um, it's absolutely awesome how, how much faster you get. And this you can do this in, in, uh, in large parts, right? I can just say, oh yeah, all of this shit, disable, right? And then refresh and all of the buttons here are gone. And then re-enable and I, also, I, I meant these ones, right? Okay, I meant all of them, I guess. Save, refresh. All of them gone. So that is really, really awesome for testing. The JetBrains one that allows you to create it. So hot swapping works with any um, Java JVM. So you can do that already. If you want to be able to add additional methods and not only, for example, I just manipulated methods, right? I did not add new methods. So this all works with a normal Java version. If you want to create additional methods, you need to go to the JBR GitHub. And then in that one, you have different releases and you need to find the latest 17 version. So this one is 11. And you need to find the one that is based on DCEVM, right? And that one is, I think, from November, the last one. So you need release 17 because here you find one that is from 12 days ago ago but it does not contain the dcevm one that is the be able to replace methods one so all of those don't help so next page release 17 also no release 17 also no release 17 dcevm right so this one from november 8th i think is the latest one you can use uh yeah i think so go up one go up another no Maybe this one. Yeah, November 15th. That's the latest version they have for the Java 17 release that supports the better hot swapping. Oh yeah, I guess I can give you the the link to that. Okay. And the nice thing as well is um, in Eclipse at least, that works. I currently have 43 errors in my project. But because I only changed a file that does not have errors, I can save that individual file and only that individual file will be hot swapped to the server and I can test it, right? Even though I have all of these errors. I think in IntelliJ that does not work because um, the, um, the button for redeploying 
I think will always check for errors or redeploy everything or something. There was something I think there was something different there. So this did not work, I think. But yeah, you need to test it. On on IntelliJ, at least you always need to save the file, and then you also need to press a button to hot swap the file. That's a little bit annoying in IntelliJ. But but then again, IntelliJ is much quicker to connect to the service and start hot swapping. That is a little bit annoying in, in Eclipse. It takes like 20, 25 seconds for my large project to connect. Um, in a smaller project, it's much faster. I already learned so much from your streams. Nice. Yeah, if you have more questions or whatever, feel free to, to ask, right? That's, that's why I stream. And sometimes I also learn from you guys. So that is awesome. Okay. 